All right, sun is going down, but man, do I have something neat to show you. Up at the shack, getting stuff surveyed. Luckily, with the weather we had, no significant damage. One tree, that one was pretty well rotten anyways, so I got to replant the orchard to get some new crabapple trees out here. Outhouse is kicking, and I got a new project. This, ladies and germs, is the Rolagon. Now you've probably seen videos of the Rolagons online. If I am good enough with my editing, I'll put a little clip of it here. Now Rolagon is technically the brand of the tires. They're not technically tires as much as they are airbags. And um, they're big. That's about uh, 40 inches wide, about three foot in diameter. And on the side here, you can see Rolagon. They're made in Texas. Rolagon Corporation of Houston, Texas. I think this may actually be one of the first things I've ever bought that was made down in Texas. So kind of neat little contraption. Big old airbags. The tread on the back is actually just glued on. And uh, no, to answer questions, it does not float. It does not float in water. This is made for going over snow, soft terrain, marshes, stuff of that nature. Um, I found information about this machine and my friend that I bought this from, he actually contacted Rolagon and they made 20 of these sometime in the late 50s, maybe even into the early 60s. We don't know an exact date, but they at least have a count on how many were made um powered by either a six or seven horse briggs has a forward and reverse transmission and it would actually be a torque converter drive so it's actually got it driven in the back hard to see it back there and at some point the motor's been replaced this is just a regular centrifugal clutch so it needs a proper belt proper torque converter uh, when they took the other motor off, the throttle linkage that they had made is gone. So this is actually the throttle. The other side is the brake. I have all the tin work. There's actually a wood cover that goes here. And then like a little tray on the back and then a rear fender mount. And this was made for people moving, roughly, is the easiest description to say. Clutch. And they touted it would carry three passengers. Well, three, three occupants entire. So driver, two passengers. Um, the front airbag, well, I'll be honest. The front and rear airbags are pretty rough. They got some pretty substantial cracking. The front bag, especially in the middle, is pretty rough. But it does hold air. Um, this has been on the trailer now for about four hours, five hours, and has not leaked down. The rear does leak down pretty quick. Um, on the other side sprocket side it leaks around the coupling because there's two pieces of metal that couple together somebody at some point like stuffed rope down there and wrapped it with flex seal and some other sealants and stuff and that's not gonna really do much so this is just a quick little impromptu i'm not gonna fire it up i'm not gonna run it yet that will be coming soon so stay tuned for more videos about this i have a lot of projects coming up I don't know if they're gonna watch the video, but a quick shout out to my buddy Ron, who I bought this from, as well as his sons, Jason and John. So they did the work of getting it running. Now I'm gonna do the work of figuring out what I'm gonna actually do with it.